I may have made a few mistakes in my day. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back. And today we are going to be talking about five common Lux by mistakes that I've made and hopefully I'll share this with you and you won't make them too. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday all designer and fashion related. I love sharing with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys today I just wanted to share with you I was just thinking about this because I was talking to my girl Sam about a purchase she was thinking about making and it reminded me of some of the things and mistakes that I have made and I'm lucky to have someone like Sam to bounce ideas off of before I make a mistake but sometimes she just wasn't available and these are the mistakes that I've made. So the first mistake that I've made with luxury shopping is I will buy something that is on sale however it is an item I wanted but it's in a different color, right? It's an item that I had been lusting for. However, it is not the color I wanted, but it was a good deal. Has anyone ever fallen into that mistake? And I have two examples here for you. First, we have these Manolos right here. And I had originally wanted these Manolos in one of the lighter colors. There's like a silver color. There was a light green color that I thought I was getting and then these were the ones I ended up getting because it was something that I bought on sale. I got these for around $600. I was so excited. The price that I got them for because these retail for over a thousand. So when I got them, they had sent me the wrong color and they didn't have the color that I had wanted. So I could return them, obviously, which is probably what I should have done. But because these were such a great deal, such a great price, such a beautiful shoe, I kept because I couldn't get the one in the color that I wanted. Now, do I love these? Yes, I love this color. But since it's such a dark green, it does limit what I can wear it with. I have made money on this, renting them out. However, I don't wear it as much as, as I wanted to wear them. And I still find myself looking for the color I had originally wanted. So that was just silly, silly purchase. Another mistake that I've made with luxury shopping is buying something a size down from the original size that you have been lusting for because it's a little bit cheaper. So settling, I, I would call this like settling. These, this is basically what most of my mistakes are settling, but I got the bag that I liked. However, I got it in a size smaller than I originally wanted. I had wanted it a little bit bigger. However, I thought, oh, what's the big deal with the size? So an example of that is my puzzle bag right here. I really love this bag. It's a gorgeous bag, but this is in the size small. And I was able to get this bag for right around $1,500, I think a little over $1,500 in these retail close to $2,000. And I had originally wanted this bag in like the tan, color or a black color, one of the solid colors. I do love this leather. And then I wanted it in the, I believe it's called the medium size. And this is the small because of the slouch. So when you would carry it top handle, the larger ones, you get this real nice, cute slouch with it, which you don't get with this size. But again, such a great deal, same style bag, similar to color, but I went a size smaller. I went for a different size because it was such a great deal that I got on the secondhand market. I don't carry this that often. And most likely I'll be selling it because it doesn't have what I originally wanted. And I should have just saved up, go over $2,000, save up and get the size that I wanted. I shouldn't have went down a size smaller just because it was cheaper. A another luxury buying mistake that I have done is using a personal shopper because I don't want to wait for a particular item. This is my nano sack plot that I got. And when this, I first saw this, I'm like, this is so gorgeous. And it was during the pandemic when I think this came out in 2020. So I've had this a year and I was so excited to get it. And this was retailing for, I believe like right around $1,200 or $1,300 it was going to retail for when it first came out. So when I saw it, I really loved it. However, there was no place for me to get on a list or anything to get it. 
and I didn't have an essay at the time that I had a good relationship with. So I went through a personal shopper. So I had watched, not dissing Cassie at all, but I watched her video on personal shoppers and able to get things. And I couldn't, had no luck finding this online and stuff like that. And it didn't seem like we we're gonna get that many in the States. Like I was listening to all the hype. I was listening to all the things that were saying that it was gonna be hard to get and went through a personal shopper who was able to pre-order this for me and it ended up costing me 20% more than retail. So I ended up paying for this bag that retailed with tax and everything right around, I wanna say $1,500, 14 something. And I ended up paying around $1,800 for this same bag. Had I just been patient and waited like six months or seven months, I would have been able to get this from my essay that I have a great relationship with now. And she always gets these in every once in a while. So I should have been patient. I should not have just rushed to try to get that item. Be patient, save yourself some money and just buy retail and find yourself an essay that you have a great relationship with. And if you don't, I will share mine with you. Another mistake that I have made is buying something because it is limited edition. Buying something that you don't necessarily love. You think it's cool, it's awesome, and you're like, oh, that's gonna be worth money someday. That's limited edition. You can't get this. Give it into the hype of the limited edition and then buying it. This was my Neverfull that I got. I'm not really a Neverfull person. Like if I found a really good deal on a Neverfull, I might pull the trigger on it. However, this was one and it was in the Palms, I believe it's called the Palm Springs dot print or jungle print is what it was called. And I'll insert a picture because I have since sold that. And I got that piece. It was, I wanna say just under $2,000 type thing. It was from 2015, 2017. And I didn't buy it it's brand new in the store. I got it from somebody secondhand. I just thought, thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I loved that even though everybody carried the Neverfull, this was a different Neverfull from somebody else that I was gonna have something that wasn't common that not everybody carried and I was gonna be cool. And it's such a loud print. It was hard to match with things. It wasn't something that I actually really enjoyed. <laughs> I just, I never really carried it. So I think it was because of the print. I don't think it was the Neverfull, but because I had, I spent so much money on this Neverfull and I never really carried it, I never replaced it with something else. And, and what turned me off from the Neverfull is because everybody was carrying their never full, which is why I went for the limited edition print. So yeah, never just like fall for something that's limited edition, just because it's limited edition. Okay guys, the last, I mean, I've made so many mistakes. Like I know there's lots more than this, um, but I've seen other people do these videos and I think that these are a little bit different from some of the norms that people put. So this last mistake that I still make sometimes is buying a luxury piece, no matter what it is, but not having a plan for it. Buying it because you think it's cute, it's fun, but you don't have a plan for it. So what I like to do when I buy handbags or shoes or even a jewelry piece or something like that, I have to think of at least five outfits in my current wardrobe that I would wear that piece with. So if I am going to get myself a ready to wear piece, like a sweater, how do I plan on wearing this? So when I was getting my Gucci sweater, I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear that. I can wear that with jeans when it's a little bit cooler. I'm gonna be able to rock that and throw a blazer on over it. I want to wear this with white pants. I wanna, like you had, I had to have a vision on how I'm gonna wear it to be able to justify buying that piece. If you buy something and you have no idea how, how or what you are going to wear it with, then you get to the point where you feel like you have nothing to wear and then you make this mistake where you buy outfits, new outfits to match the new piece that you just added to your collection. So yeah, that is something I totally recommend. You gotta vision yourself, have those outfits. So then when you get that piece, you can try these out and you get excited to take it out and it's not something where you have nothing to wear when in reality you have a stuffed closet. Okay guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed listening to all the luxury mistakes that I've made. I make a lot more than just those five, but I narrowed those down to the ones that I usually make all the time. And I figure if I put this to video, then maybe, just maybe I'll learn my lesson. I hope. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again. Bye guys.